Hey folks, Amy here from Colorado Mountain Living, and today I want to show you how to do an oxalic acid vaporizer treatment for your bees. The best time to do this is at the end of winter and the beginning of winter, ideally when your hive is broodless. In order to do this treatment, you need a power source for your vaporizer, at least the vaporizer that I bought. So you need to hook it up to a car battery, or in our case, the more practical choice was using a tractor battery. So I'm having Lance help me out here by driving up the tractor as close as possible to the beehive so my cord can reach from the battery of the tractor to the entrance of the hive. So what you need to do a, an oxalic acid vapor treatment, you need a vaporizer. So this is the brand that, this is the one that I got on Amazon. It has a positive and a negative that will hook up to an external battery and I'll show you how we're gonna do that. The tray gets really, really hot and it will vaporize your crystals. Now I will also link to the bottle of crystals that I got, but I just put them in a little plastic baggie because you only need about one gram to do the treatment. So it's just a small amount of crystals. I weighed out one gram on my kitchen scale. And what I'm gonna do is put it into my tray, hook up my battery leads, and then carefully insert this into the beehive opening. And it's a really good time to do it right now because it's chilly, the bees aren't flying around, and so they're not gonna come out and try to sting me because it's too cold to do that. All, the entire treatment takes about three minutes. So uh, it's very quick and it's really, really effective for removing mites. It's one of the best treatments that we have to control mite populations. And doing it early in the spring before there's any brood really reduces your mite populations for the year. And there is an advantage being in the mountains. We don't have as many problems with mites, but this fall when I tested for mites, they were right on the threshold. So it was really important to, to do the treatments. So here we go. Lance drove up the tractor and he parked it as close as he could to the beehive. The uh, cable is about nine feet long. It's, just enough to get really, really close tractor-wise. And then you can see here, I just hooked up the leads black and red to power up the vaporizer. So that's getting hot right now. I am going to put in my crystals and then in, put it in the beehive for three minutes. That's the treatment time. Not quite melting, it hasn't really heated up yet, so I'm gonna let it get a little bit hotter. A gram is about a half of a teaspoon or so. It's, gonna, it's about to get really hot, so I can feel it with my fingers, it's starting to get quite warm. And then it'll start to vaporize, and that's when I'm gonna stick it into the hive. Okay, it's getting pretty hot. It takes a couple minutes to warm up, and then it's three minutes of treatment, so I'm gonna get my timer out. Use my phone, get my timer ready. Okay, it's starting to vaporize, so spread it out a little bit. And hit start. Oxalic acid is a natural acid. It's actually uh, occurs in plants and those little tiny green clovers, if you've ever chewed on them as a kid, the little ones that are heart-shaped. It's not harmful to the bees, but it is strong enough that it will kill any mites present. One of the things uh, to ensure if you're doing oxalic acid vapor treatments is to make sure your hive is as sealed up as possible, that most of the openings are sealed, like if you have any ventilation. So right now the hive doesn't have any ventilation. The only opening is the small entrance right here. So all of the vapor is staying inside the hive and that's um, making the treatment more effective. So I'll stop that. I'm gonna take a look to see uh, how much, if the vapor's all gone. If it really hasn't all the way vaporized, I'll just stick it back in. There's a, it's a little bit more, but pretty much all gone. I'll probably do another 30 seconds just to. All right. So that's the end of the treatment. We're just gonna disconnect the, um, the vaporizer. There's a little bit of ash left over. You can see there's no more vapor coming out, so that means your treatment's done. It's this up. is still gonna be really, really hot, so don't be touching that with your fingers. That's a very simple treatment and really effective for getting your bees on the right track for the spring. So vaporizing oxalic acid. These aren't very too expensive and you can get a whole pound of oxalic acid crystals for very inexpensively. So I'll link to those two 
uh, items in the comments. So if you want to start doing this treatment, I wish I had done it five years ago. I think I would have saved a lot more colonies, but now it's a lot more widespread and common to do this. So it's um, definitely a staple for beekeeping. If you want to learn more about mountain beekeeping and you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. And Colorado Mountain Living, we're also doing a whole vlog on our building of our home and the development of our homestead in the mountains. Feel free to join up and uh, catch us at the next video. eliminate the problem of eggs being in your hive then that then you know you don't have it a special vaporizer I'll, sh I'll I'll put links in the comments to so I there you go come on and it's freaking windy and you can't hear anything um, hey be quiet boy Go lay down, Vigo. So I use a it's gonna be like whoosh. So I use a vaporizer. This is um, I'll put a link to this in the in the comments. This is something I got on Amazon. It's uh it runs on electricity.